Hello my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, I will greet you as always. Now, I want to tell you that this man that is about to speak now, Tunubu will not like this man. And most of the Yoruba bigots will not like him, but he's a Yoruba man no, and he's a lawyer, you know. He will always say that thing that will prepare them for body, but that thing he's saying is the truth. I'm not trying to defend a mere fella, no. But if we don't follow due process in everything we want to do, concerning any tribe, we will always get it all wrong. Do you understand? So now let's listen to the lawyer why he's trying to condemn totally what Tunubu is doing to MFLA right now. Let's go there. Bank of Nigeria Act. You cannot suspend or remove a central bank governor without the permission and authority of the Senate. That's what the Constitution says. That's what the Constitution says. So any other thing is sentiment. I don't I don't dwell in sentiment. Hey, they have arrested him. And so what? The dear it was immediately arrested in a proper manner. Was immediately removed in the office in a proper manner. That's the issue. Well, but I, you see, I don't have any problem with Emefile. I don't know any Emefile from Adam. And I don't want to know him. I don't want to know Emefile. I'm not, I won't associate myself with a thief. I'm not saying Emefile is a thief. So get me right. There's only a court of competent jurisdiction that can confirm whether Emefile is a thief or not. Um, it's not for me to proclaim Emefile as a thief. But I don't, I don't associate myself with dubious people. I don't. I have opportunity. If you don't know, I have opportunity to associate myself with governors in Nigeria. But I refuse. Three governors in Nigeria were my classmates. If you don't know, one governor was my junior. One was my classmate. One was my one was my friend. All, all these ex-governors. Two ministers are my friends. Two ministers are my personal friends. The, the ex-ministers. So if I want to associate myself with government in Nigeria, it doesn't take me anything. But I don't need to come and brag. Okay? So two, two governors are my classmates. One was my junior in law school. The, the past governors. But I don't associate myself with criminals. I don't associate myself with people who don't have conscience. Nigerian politicians don't have conscience. They don't. <laughs> so, so I still don't understand why Nigerians are so gullible. How do you think Tinubu will fight corruption? Tinubu? You, you think Tinubu is the right man to fight corruption? I dare Tinubu to show us, to pinpoint to us. Tinubu, you are the president of Nigeria now. And I dare you pinpoint to us five of your classmates when you were a student of government college Ibadan. Tinubu, I dare you. Pinpoint to me, Alani Konarewaju, five of your classmates when you were a student of government college Ibadan. Chibi, you said you were, you were a student of government college Ibadan. No doubts about it. I believe you. But Tinubu, please, sir, pinpoint to me five of your classmates when you were in government college Ibadan. Tinubu, we do respect, sir. Pinpoint to me Five of your classmates, when you were a student of St. John's Primary School, are on lawyer Lagos. All the certificates that Tinubu is parading, he forged them. He forged, I, I'm not hiding my face. I'm not, and if a Tinubu supporter, shame on you if you don't sue me for libel. All the certificates that Tinubu is parading, he forged them. All the certificates. I'm not even sure whether he, whether he work in Mobi. I doubt it whether he work in Mobi. Because if Tinubu work in Mobi, what were the credentials that he presented to Mobi before he was employed in Mobi? These are, these are the questions we should be asking ourselves. Not because uh, Tinubu is Obama, we should support him. The, let me let me warn Yoruba Obas now. Warn it to Arale Nibanje Kutele Oni Dodo. Ere Huru He. Koni Jaki Yon Jiu Sun Loru. Ti Arale Ni. To Banje Kutele Oni Dodo. Ere Huru He. Ti Arale Ni. Ti Arale Nibanje Kutele Oni Dodo. Ere Huru He. Koni Jaki Ni Boy. Koni Jaki Sun Loru. So I still don't understand why people think Tinubu is the right man to fight corruption. Tinubu himself is an encyclopedia of corruption from head to toe. Everything about Tinubu is fake from head to toe. From head to toe. Primary school fake, secondary school fake, university fake, parents fake, hometown fake, birthday fake. And then you want Tinubu now to fight corruption. And then people are clapping. And he has arrested the MFLA. 
And so if you arrest Emifeli, so what do we do? We should jump into the ocean because he has arrested Emifeli. I dare Tinubu to, to jail Emifeli. I dare him to prosecute Emifeli. And then Emifeli is a stupid man. And I tell you why he's a stupid man. I don't know him, but he's a stupid man. And if you know him, and if you know his, know his lawyer, tell him that I, I'm giving him a free leg advice. If I have to be Emifeli, I won't go down alone. If I have to be a Mifili, if I have to be in a Mifili shoe now, I won't go down alone. He, all of us, we go down together. Somebody somewhere must have given a Mifili instructions. Somebody somewhere must have given a Mifili instructions. If a Mifili cannot act on its own, so moto, it cannot. So somebody somewhere must have been given a Mifili instructions. So who are the people giving a Mifili instructions? Who are the people backing up a Mifili? Who are the people backing a Mifili to commit all those atrocities he committed? There are some people who gave him the order. So why is now a Mifili that is arrested alone? Why are they not? Why, by now, I expect Tinubu to have arrested Malamish, the former Attorney General. I expect Tinubu to have arrested uh, uh, Sirika, Minister, former Minister for Aviation. I expect Tinubu to have arrested, um, what's this guy's name? Maman Daura, who was not even an official of government. And he was living in Asurok. Using government of officials, uh, government, government, car, government cars official and um, vehicle. Mama Dara never had, never held any political post, but he was living in that sort of for eight years inside that sort of officially or, or unofficially. So these are the people I expect Tinubu to arrest. Mama Dara, Malami, Hadi Sirika, that lady that is Buhari's girlfriend. That lady that is in women affairs, I expect Tinubu to have arrested him by now. But you know, a Bifele is, is, is an idiot. If I mean, you will know that a Bifele is not even a smart guy. You knew that you committed all this atrocity, you waited till when you were arrested. When you knew that Tinubu is not the president, why, what, what, are, what are you still doing in Nigeria? And I keep on telling people, but for the matter that you're a billionaire does not mean you have common sense. It's by sheer grace of God. We have so many stupid people who are billionaires. Stupid people, and they are billionaires. Money making is by sheer grace of God. Nobody is, is, is an expert in money making. So don't don't think somebody is an expert or somebody is fortunate. If the what makes what it takes to be a millionaire is to you to be at the right place at the right time and take the right decision, whether legally or illegally. So I still don't understand why if if MFL is not a fool. Why, why do you have to wait in Nigeria until you are arrested? If I were to be a Mifile, immediately Tinubu became president, I would travel out of Nigeria and then sign, sign my resignation letter. If a Mifile cannot tell me that he doesn't have citizenship of another country. If people like Oluomo can be, can be citizens of America, people like Kwanwa, so a man of Mifile status will not have citizenship of another country. Do you see that you are a fool now, Mifile? They are now make you a sacrificial lamp. And I keep on telling people who are following all these devilish politicians in Nigeria that they will use you and dump you. They will use you. They are very selfish. They are not for anybody. Now, let me tell you now. Lagos State Government is going to demolish Alaba Market. What has, what has Peter B said concerning Lagos State demolition exercise that will be going on anytime from now in Alaba Market? As you have you seen it, Peter B said anything? The way Zibos are being maltreated in Lagos State, have you seen Peter B? You people that call yourself obedience and evil people that are supporting Peter B. How many people, how many times has Peter B made any pronouncement? How many times have you seen Peter B to come out openly and condemn the action of Lagos State government? And then some people say they are obedient. And then some oh, Ebos, they say hey, Peter B is the saint. Nigeria politicians are very selfish and wicked. They are not even politicians. They are dealers, they are businessmen. They are not. They are not politicians. A politician must have woman face. Now, yeah, politicians are not for is it what is it what, a, 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 a misnomer to call them politicians? They are, they are just businessmen, they are dealers. So uh, uh, Peter will be uh, is Peter will be the Messiah. Uh, why can't Peter will be go and get lawyers on behalf of Alaba Market and get an injunction against Lagos State Government? Or does if Peter B does not know that he, he can he, he can get a lawyer and get an injunction against Lagos State Government. Where are the Igbo lawyers? Or the Igbo lawyers are not, they don't know that Lagos State wants to demolish Alaba Market. Where are the Igbo lawyers? Where are the Igbo elites? Where are the Ojikalu of this world? Ojikalu, Umanyam of this world. When federal Lagos State Government is making a law 
that is discriminating against Igbos in Lagos State. Where are the lawyers, Lagos uh, Igbo lawyers? Do they want to tell me that they are not aware of Section 43 of the Constitution? Section 43 of the Constitution as amended. Section 43. 1999 Constitution as amended. The, the section 40, section 41, section 42, section, section 43, section 39, section 1. Do you both lawyers want to tell me that they don't know that there's a section in the Constitution called fundamental rights? Do you both lawyers or do Peter B want to tell me that he doesn't know that there's a law and there's a section called section 43? Let me read section 43 to you with your permission. Section 43. Let's go to section 43. This is section 43. This is section 43. Okay. With your permission, I will read section 43. Subject to the provision of this constitution, subject to the provisions of this constitution, every citizen of Nigeria shall have the right to acquire and own immovable property anywhere in Nigeria. Let me read it again now. Subject to the provisions of this constitution, every citizen of Nigeria shall have the right to acquire and own immovable property anywhere in Nigeria, including Lagos. So, by virtue of this section, Igbos can have houses in Lagos. Igbos can even have houses in Sambisa Forest. It's their constitutional right. So, where are the Igbo lawyers? Where is Peter B? Where, where, why has Peter B not make any comment? If, if you have seen anywhere where Peter B condemned the action of Lagos, please let me know. Because I've, I've, been, I've been off um, social media for some time. You know, I was on holidays. But if you have seen anywhere where Peter B has come out openly, to condemn the action of Lagos State, to condemn the what what the Speaker of Lagos State of Assembly, Assembly said concerning Ibos in Lagos. Let me know. Please point it to me. And then please tag Peter B himself. Tag Peter B. Tag his PRO team. Tag the them movement. He can play, Peter B can play on the intelligence now, on my intelligence. I said it, the Nigerian politicians are very useless. Very, very useless. They are the same. Either Peter B, Atiku, or Tinubu, they are the same. They are the same. They don't they don't fight among themselves though. Let me tell you that one now for free. They don't fight they don't quarrel among themselves. What brings disagreement is who will be the president. Once you are the president, you have captured everywhere. Once you are the president of Nigeria, the whole treasury of Nigeria is in your pocket. So what they are fighting for is who will be the controller of the treasury in Abuja. Not that they, they are fighting on behalf of the masses or they like the masses. They don't. They are they are very selfish and self-centered. Have you seen Atiku issued a statement condemning the way Igbos have been treated in Lagos? Have you seen Peter Obi himself, who is an Igbo man, condemning the action of Lagos State? Have you seen Oji Kalu? Oji Kalu. Oji Kalu is not an Igbo guy. Have you seen Oji Kalu issued a statement condemning what is going on in Lagos State as per Igbo? Or does Oji Kalu want to tell me that he's not aware that Lagos State has given ultimatum to Alaba traders and that they are going to demolish Alaba market? As of this morning, Lagos State has marked most of the buildings in the Alaba market for demolition. What has Ojikalu said about it? Peter B, your savior, Ibos, permit me to use that word. Who we'll sees Peter B as saviors? As, as Peter B issued any statement? Let's go to section 44, section 1. Section 44, section 1. Compulsory acquisition of property. Section 44, Section 1, with your permission, I read. No movable property or any interest in an immovable property shall be taken possession of, of compulsorily, and no right over or interest in any such property shall be acquired compulsorily in any part of Nigeria except in the manner and for the purposes prescribed by law that among. You see? Before government can acquire your land, before this government can acquire your land, they must pay you compensation. Section 44, Subsection 1, Paragraph A, is clearly stated. Before government can acquire the land, they must pay you compensation. Section 22, Land Use Act. Go and read it. Now, Lagos State Government wants to acquire all the lands in Alaba and demolish all the markets. How many Igbo lawyers, how many Igbo lawyers have come out to say something against it? How many Igbo lawyers have filed an action in court? How many Igbo lawyers have gone to court to file what I call interlocutory injunction? against the action of Lagos State Government. 
How many Igbo lawyers have done it? How many Igbo politicians, including Peter Obi, have, have employed lawyers, services of lawyers, to go and file an interlocutory injunction against Lagos state government as per allowed by international markets? So the Nigerian politicians are very useless. They are the most useless set of women I've ever seen in this world. Including Tinubu, their president. Nigerian politicians are very useless. Very, very useless. So I still don't understand why people now believe that uh, Peter, uh, Tinubu will now be the messiah to come and fight corruption. If you, if, if you are watching me now and you believe that Tinubu will fight corruption, you are living in a fool's paradise. Okay? Uh, if you are watching me and you believe Tinubu will fight corruption, you are living in a fool's paradise. It's as simple as a business. You are just allowing yourself to be to, to, to be fooled by Tinubu. He who comes to equity must come with clean, clean hands. <laughs> we all know the antecedent of Tinubu in Lagos State now. So how can Tinubu now fight corruption? There is nothing they will do to Emi Philip. Mark my words. Nothing will happen to Emi Philip. So you just be thinking that... Uh, they are going to jail him. You are just deceiving, you are deceiving yourself. They are not going to jail him. Emi Fili has co-conspirators. If you don't know, Emi Fili has co-conspirators. Emi Fili has what we call ancestry before the fact and ancestry after the fact. Emi Fili has what we call people who jointly acted with him. So why, what, why, why do you think that thing that uh, Emi Fili will be the only scapegoat? And he has suspended Bawa. He has done this. All those ones are <coughs> drama, drama. I challenge Tinubu to go and arrest Buhari. Abi, Shibi, Tinubu wants to fight corruption. Let him start from Buhari. Let him probe. Don't you know how much they was released to Minister of Defense under Buhari? Do you know how much billions of naira that were released to Minister of Defense under Buhari? So let Tinubu start from there. Let him go and arrest Buhari. Then I will know he meant business, not uh, using a mere failure as a scapegoat. Or using Bawa, those ones are, are soft, soft targets. What I call soft targets. Let him go and arrest. Even let him go and arrest Nasser Rufai alone. Nasser Rufai in Kanama State. Let him go and arrest him. Nasser Rufai make a statement that in in in, in an organized country, he ought to have been charged for treasonable felony. The statement that Nasser Rufai made, made, he ought to have been charged for treasonable felony. Is is Nasser Rufai not moving about freely? So if a Yoruba man don't come to my boss and be saying rubbish, if you don't know, let me tell you the history of Tinubu. If you, people don't, because I know that a lot of people don't know history and they don't read history. Tinubu came to limelight by virtue of Nadeko. Down in Abasha regime, they form an NGO called Nadeko, and then they were against military rule. Then and that, this was what prompted Tinubu and, and, and brought Tinubu to limelight. So if Tinubu can campaign other governments if Tinubu can be an arrowhead who criticizes other governments. So why why can't why don't Tinubu want people to criticize him now? So Tinubu, I will criticize you. That's nothing you can do. If you want to jump into the ocean, jump into the ocean. Especially your supporters. I'm, every day I will, I, will, I will start, I will be criticizing Tinubu. Tinubu came into limelight by virtue of him being a member of Nadeko. Likewise, uh, Kyle Defy, me, uh, Dele Momodu, all of them like that, like Bakuba, they came to limelight by, 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 by Nadeko. So why what is now wrong with me if I criticize Tinubu? He has criticized so many governments. He has he criticized with Donatan. Tinubu criticized Donatan, criticized Obasanjo's government. So why is he now so special that I cannot criticize? What is so special about Tinubu that I cannot criticize him? And if you have if you have tied your destiny to Tinubu, I have not tied my own destiny to Tinubu. So if you have tied your destiny to Tinubu's destiny, that congratulations to you. Tinubu does not feed me. Tinubu does not did not know how I became a lawyer. So why will I be worshipping Tinubu? And I will tell you this, and you're back, they're supporting on Malini, and I tell you this. On Malini, in the sense that more expert in this, because we push out in the pussy in your line, they're very simple. Because we're expecting you back, they're supporting you. Because we're expecting you, you're going to push out in the pussy in your line, they're very simple. You know, I'll allow a type of shipping shop in the book for the ballet phone, and you're Malini, I'm my knocking on one. Who is the noble that we cannot criticize him? Somebody who forges certificates. A kleptomania. Somebody is not even, not even from Lagos State. So who is Tinubu that I cannot criticize him? Tinubu might be your lord and savior. It's not my own. Tinubu is not my father. Tinubu does not send me to school. 
So Tinubu might be generous to you. That's between you and Tinubu, not me. It has nothing to do with me. It has between you and Tinubu. So go and sort yourself out with Tinubu, but don't come to my inbox and infect me with a virus of stupidity. Because I know that Tinubu supporters are stupid. They are arrogantly stupid. So if you are stupid and you are falling to the boot, don't come and infect me with your stupidity. Tinubu that is three children who have never worked in their life has a property portfolio worth $50 million. She Tinubu has a property in London worth $10.8 million. Abibat and uh, Zenab Tinubu, they have a property in New York worth $5 million. So you want me to come and be supporting Tinubu? On what basis now? If you don't have common sense, I have my own common sense is intact. So I go with Gunitin Bufi Muni, Ogutin Bo, maybe. So I let him out, but I let him go, 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 be a good time. I mean, I let him go because he's a dubious human being. Kitty Nobu lost of one, Bush a debillionaire. If you don't know, Tinubu is worth $44 billion. If you don't know, Tinubu has three private jets. So be supporting Tinubu and be saying Tinubu is your Lord and Savior. And Tinubu is here to fight corruption. Let Tinubu tell us what business he engaged in that fetches him money to buy three private jets. Let Tinubu tell us how did he get money to buy houses in London, in Paris, and in, and in New York. Let Tinubu tell us what business is into that he has over 500 houses in Lagos. Let Tinubu tell us how he came to acquire almost all the lands in Lake Lagos. Let Tinubu tell us whether he was not signing C or four after he has left as governor of Lagos State. So don't, don't, don't come and, and say rubbish inside my inbox. Okay, I will criticize Tinubu. If he doesn't want to be criticized, let, then let him resign as, as president of Nigeria. If he doesn't want to be criticized, let him step down as president of Nigeria. And then nobody will criticize him again. Then he will become a private citizen. But as long as number one, number one citizen of Nigeria, I'm going to criticize him. He too has criticized a lot of people. And if, if by criticizing Tinubu will be the thing that will bring me to limelight, so be it. Tinubu to use others to climb up. I remember when he was in Aideko. He was always criticizing Bua, uh, Abasha. So if Tinubu can criticize others and, and, and use them to climb up, if, 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 if me criticizing Tinubu is what will bring me to limelight, so be it. So be it. But if you think because of Tinubu, I will now stop criticizing him. Or because he's a Yoruba man, you have missed the point. Okay, you have missed the point. So let Tinubu come and tell us whether he was a student of Government College Badon. Let Tinubu come and tell us whether he's from Lagos State. You see, Lagosians are so funny. The people who are causing confusion in Lagos State, they are not even from Lagos State. The people making laws in Lagos State now, they are not from Lagos State. Obasa, the speaker of Lagos State, is not from Lagos State, it's from Ifo. Somoli himself is from Ijebu. Tinubu is from Iragbiji, a national state. So the people controlling Lagos State, they are not from Lagos State. And then the real Lagosians, they are looking like a zombie, like Dundee United. And you are like, oh, Bolo, 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 you So let let Tinubu, let Tinubu cause war, Wahala in Yoruba land. All of the big gods will use their head and carry the wahala that Tinubu will cause them because they are truly behind him. So much gullible. These people are terrible. They can't call a spade a spade. They can't just say the truth.